Hello, my name is Bishop Christopher Coyne, and through these liturgical blinks, I hope to be able to answer some questions that people have regarding the celebration of the Catholic Church's liturgy. Today's question is... So we're talking about two baptized Catholics. Two baptized Catholics are, according to the Church's norms, almost always, except in really extraordinary cases, are expected to be married in front of a priest, a deacon, or a bishop within a Catholic church or a chapel, most especially one that they're connected with through their life, whether it was their parish church or whether it was a university church where they both attended, whatever it may be. The expectation is that two Catholics who are getting married are married in a Catholic church or chapel, and the bishop very, very rarely allows for any other place of celebration. I think two things to keep in mind. First of all, it's the tradition of the church, and second of all, the fact that it is a sacrament and a celebration, and that most normally, the celebration of the church's sacraments takes place within a sacred space. Now, there are exceptions, of course, like the sacrament of the sick, as you could well understand, and even so, uh, particular celebrations like baptism in danger of death, and also the celebration of reconciliation, which can be done anywhere, but most often is done within a church or a sacred space. But the normal place in which the church celebrates its sacraments, like baptism, like confirmation, like ordination, like, mar like Eucharist, and like marriage, is within a sacred space. To, in a sense, spatially make the connection between the sacredness of the moment with the sacredness of the reality in the place as well. There's also traditionally this sense of the good order of the church's celebration of the sacrament of marriage. In the ancient world, marriage was done by the family in the household, whether they were Christian or not. And then after the celebration of the marriage by the household, normally the patriarch of the house would uh, be the one who would kind of preside over the celebration, and it was the patriarch of the groom's family, they would then go to the church for the blessing of the bishop or priest and the reception of Holy Communion for the first time as husband and wife. So the Christians did have this sense of even though within the ancient world marriage was done in the household, they would still go to the church where the marriage would be blessed by the priest or by the bishop. The bishop wouldn't go to the house, they would come to the bishop. As time goes on and the culture begins to break down and the bureaucracy of the Roman Empire begins to fall apart, this all kind of begins to drift towards the door of the church. So the Christian couple would come to the door of the church, they would be married by the priest at the door of the church, and then they would be brought in where again they would receive a blessing and then the celebration of the Mass and reception of Holy Communion. And then when we get into the 11th and 12th and 13th century, we see all of this taking place within the church. It's done for the good order. The church was the only kind of community and institution where these things could be maintained, where records would be kept that it was made sure that all the rules and reasons why someone would get married were being taken care of, that they weren't cousins or brother and sister, that they weren't being forced into this, that they were free to be married. All those things were taken care of by the church. So why do Christians, why do two Catholics have to get married in a church? It's both the tradition of the church for at least the last 10 centuries, and in fact, it's the recognition that it is a sacrament that is a celebration that normally takes place within a sacred space. And this idea, while it's nice of being married in a mountainside or at a resort or on a beach, is something that's part of the, of the present culture. In many ways, Catholics are called to be countercultural and to be witnesses to the fullness of faith that they celebrate, not only in the celebration of the Eucharist, but most especially when they come together as husband and wife and make their vows for the first time. My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne. Thank you and God bless.